Welcome to another episode of 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT. Nah, and I'm the Explosive One. We're starting a timer up right now. Yes, we are. Guys, stumbled on myself on that one. I don't even know what the hell I'm saying, dude. It's um, fine. TNT. Yep. If you could remove something from this world, what, what would you remove from the world? It could be anything. It could be an item. It could be a, a thing, a, a way people act, whatever. What would you remove from the world? Wow. Wow, Jonas. Anything? Yeah, well, it doesn't even have to be like, I want to remove the tacos. It could be like, I want to remove anger or war or whatever. You know, anything. Uh, it could be anything in the world that you could get rid of. Wow. I know, right? It's a hard question. This is a very hard question. Like, my first, my, my instinct was to go with hate. hate. Like, I would remove hate. And then it's like, eh, f- that i want something that's gonna help me <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, right you're like i don't i don't yeah i don't, I don't really care about hating. removing hate well, i want but something hate that's does gonna affect help you me. because people can hate on you i mean yeah but then i can't hate on people and that's like this is my national pastime <laughs> I feel I don't, it's like i need that in my life a little bit of hate can be cathartic let's not get it twisted all right and i don't mean like hate as in like you know i'm gonna prevent you from living a happy life but i need to be able to talk ish um wow I, f- I wanted, and then I was thinking, like, what if we removed color? Because I feel like, uh, oh, like everyone's the same race, and, like, and like not color, even. Like I mean, like, I mean, like all colors. Oh Jesus, everything. I mean, because you know, like, there, there's still people that are like, you know, are can we even be sure that we're even all seeing the same colors? Like, when I see green, are you seeing the same green that I'm seeing when I see green? I think most people do, because it's people that are colorblind that don't. Yeah. So it's like, I mean, obviously, like. But if I could remove all color, like everybody just showed up as like everybody grayscale? showed up. Everybody showed up as blue. Like if it was a human, if it was blue, if it was an animal, it showed up as yellow. And if it was oh, a plant, it was red. You know? Okay. And that's just basically and why what are we you saw. putting your hat on the color bag, I guess. Where does that come in? It, 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 well, what would that solve for the world? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> I, I thought you I had like a profound. Cool. <laughs> I thought you had this cool. profound statement you were coming up yeah. with. You're like, no, dude, it'll just be like whatever. Oh okay. my god, it's not be cool, man. It, I mean, I, now that now that there isn't a real reason for, it, I think that would be cool too. It would definitely help with racism, I guess. But yeah, it would definitely just be cool. I think. I but don't know. I think, know. I don't I think know. if even if everybody, I, I think if even if everyone had the same skin color, whether it was white, black brown whatever yeah people would still hate because it would be like the sound of your voice the style of your hair if people still would find stuff to yeah hate there's, there's always going to be something that they would find yeah so whether you're, you're fat or skinny whether you're tall or short whether you're yeah. whatever dude people are just like <sighs> hate is so weird i think if we're talking big picture i would love to take away the feeling that people feel su- 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 yeah, superiority for material items like materialistic like where it's like oh man i have this awesome car so you're trash so or are you, are you saying that you want everybody to be you want a communism no i just want people i wish want, want, take away the ability for people to care more about their stuff than actual human beings and others you know what i mean like some people are like all they care about is what they own yeah, it, and yeah. it's not about humans or humanity or social or whatever. It's just like it, it is, and you know what? That is such a weird thing to me because I I I don't feel like I was ever brought up in a family where it was like that should be prioritized, and like I run into so many people where that is a priority for them is about how much money they make and making sure that they make more than other people, especially in Austin. You run oh, into a yeah. lot of pretentious, just like people were making six figures a year and I'm not going to sit up here and cap. We are not making six figures a year. Right. 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 But like, yeah, but I mean, it's, but that becomes like, it becomes like a point of like value value. It's yeah. And I, I don't know if it's overvalued. I don't, I don't know, man. Maybe well, it's just the way I was brought up, but I've well, always too, been like, yeah. like uh, sure. You can compliment somebody on their car. But you complimented them on a car. Anybody can achieve that. Anyone can buy a car. Yeah, if they do certain things. Well, really, that person, the acknowledgement they're looking for is, I've worked so hard that I can afford this this car. This is proof of my hard work. Well, and here's the other thing. But that's the only way they can show it. Some people don't do anything to get that money, though. 
That, and that's a par- the, that part too. Right. Just because you have a nice car doesn't mean you've worked hard. It exactly. doesn't mean you're a good person. It doesn't. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't. And that's why, pe- and that's how people get into bad relationships because they're like, oh, this dude has money and he has a car. What? Yeah, but most of the time, the people who flaunt that shit are terrible people because they care about showing that they're money and not actually caring about people. Yeah. I'm misinformed people. Misinformed people. Maybe if they knew the way the rest of the world perceives such behavior. Because I feel like a lot of celebrities are do understand that. And they have to deal with, like, in their celebrity, they have to deal with the mitigation of being rich but not seeming rich. Right. Yeah, for sure. For because sure. a lot of these celebrities that everybody you watch on TV makes more money than you. you know? Oh, yeah, even the guy on, like, CNBC, the, yeah. the newscaster. That dude's probably pushing at six figures but, a year. But they're constantly trying to seem down to earth. Right. And That's then the people who don't come off as very pretentious. Exactly. Yeah, dude. The president the president themselves, they run on a campaign of, oh, I'd like to have a beer with that guy. No, you wouldn't. He's a freaking millionaire. He's going to be talking about his hedge funds and stock prices and the drop in the Dow. And you're not going to know anything. You're not going to have anything in common with this person. Right. What did I hear the other day? Somebody was, it was something I was watching on something. Hmm. And somebody was talking about something with like politics about like something. And they go, yeah, and this, that, the other. And they're like, yeah, but. Obama's a hundred millionaire. Like those things that it still exactly. doesn't matter to him. No. Like it matters to you got the common people, yeah. but these dudes have hundreds of millions of dollars. Some of them more than that. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like it's like, uh, so it's like, even though Obama did a very good job of coming across as the common man, he is not the common he man. He's not the common man. <laughs> he wasn't the common man before he ran for office. No, he man. was already a Senator. Or he already had exactly. lots of money. Dude. I really, you know what? And like, Ooh, I didn't want to get into politics and I really don't think we should. No, no. But I, I, I do feel like that. Uh, we need to stop putting millionaires on pedestals in, in, as in these positions of politics. Like, yeah, I feel we need like average Joe's in there, dude. I do, really, honestly, because the people who truly understand the problems of you know everybody who's having issues would be a person who yeah. is well, having like. Anyway, I have issues. a really good example that talks about that. When I worked, and when I was younger, I worked at a Blockbuster Video, mm. and like, you know, the guys who work in the store are the, the the foot soldiers you're on the ground you're dealing with customers you know how the process works you really know what would be better for customers and then you get like and i remember distinctly like the regional di- and then the district and like the the zone leader whoever the hell they were they were like my boss's 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 boss or something you know they came to the store one day and i was there working and they're talking about all this all this stuff dude and in my head I mean, I cut my mouth shut because I was just a peon. I'm like, you are so far off. Like, you don't even understand what happens here. Like, you have no eye. Like, the stuff, they're like, oh, we could just do this, 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 and this. And in my head, I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? Like, that would never in a million years work. And they just, because their vision of what the common man goes through is not what the common man goes through. It's, It's the idea of... Who's going to make a better pilot? A person who read a book because all these people do are reading books, looking at numbers, looking at spreadsheets, or the person who actually goes out there and, and flies the plane with a, with a supervisor or supervised flights. Right, so the exactly. person who's practicing, who's actually living the lifestyle of being a pilot to attain to, attain to be a pilot, or a person who's just reading a book and like, oh, so the fuselage is here, so you just turn that. They know how to operate the plane. Right, right, exactly. But they don't understand is that, no, there's turbulence. There's yeah. uh, there's delay. Sometimes yeah. somebody's not going to want to wear their mask. Yeah. And you're going to have to get, get in there and get yeah. physical with yeah. them. Yeah, well, and the other thing that happens, too, is, like, if, if you're at a job and, like, say, like, say they're hiring a new boss for your job mm. or your department of your company, and they hire someone from outside your, com- out your, outside of your department who doesn't know your job. They come in and they start going, oh, we should just do this and just do this and just do this. And all the workers are like, what the F are you talking about, that dude? Happens. You don't even know that how to do the damn lot. job. It happens a lot. Yeah, absolutely. It happens a lot. And it's, uh, so it's, but you know, well, we got so off topic, but mm. yeah, but like it's, but the, uh, it, it's just we, how detached the rich are. Or yeah. the high, not even you don't even have to be rich. You can just be a higher up person in, in an organization and you're detached, dude. From- and see, and, and that's why I, I don't know if I want to take that away from people. I want people to do that because I want these assholes to call themselves out. Good. Yeah, but the problem is they're so powerful, nobody calls them out. 
I mean, we can call him out. You called out Dave Chappelle in the last episode, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, our big powerful podcast. I'm just saying is that we can we can attain some information when you act a certain way, we can call you out on it. That's true. Absolutely. You know? So, that's anyways, right. that's all that we have for today's episode. Please go to the and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we are out.